uh, have a sense of urgency on um, defensively and offensively, uh, knowing their main guys and and uh, knowing what they like to do. Just trying to uh, make it hard on, on those guys and um, just use some of the stuff that we, we've used in the past to, to uh, help us to win game. How much is, is the play in last year going through that for you guys? I think um, I'm not sure. I mean, I've only been in one, so uh, I guess we'll know tonight uh, in our game planning. I think our coaches have done a good job of just letting us know everything that the other team does. Um, so, a, so we just uh, have to follow that. As a team, how important is it to try to, you know, like, you know, when Shea's going down there, just make sure your hands are out. Yeah. Uh, I mean, now obviously it's not just a herb or not a thing or whoever's guarding him. Yeah. Yeah, that's the emphasis on the game. We know that he's a um, one of the top free throw shooters in the league. Um, hopefully, um, referees let us get by with a little more tonight. Um, but we know he's trying to get downhill and search for hands and search for arms. So um, we'll try to be disciplined tonight. This starting five hasn't played against OKC yet this season. How do you think the way that the team has been playing, you know, the past month, how yeah. you guys have been, is going to help you? Well, we continue to worry about ourselves. Um, every day in practice, we learn something new on the offensive end and defensive end. So every time we step on the floor, we continue to get better. Trey Murphy's getting better. Herb Jones getting better at the right time. Um, CJ has been who he is, and JV has been big down low. So um, we just continue to keep going and try to find the best effective way to play on um, the win basketball game. How, how important is it going to be to get more three-point attempts up tonight and trade, trade especially? Yeah, um, I mean, it's going to be very important. Um, they got some good shooters on that team. Um, team that like to attack the paint, but um, of course we got Trey Murphy, CJ McCullough, Josh Richardson, um, and guys that can knock down shots. So. Um, it's going to be important as um, all the attention is on CJ and myself to um, get those guys involved. For the team being able to play here at home, you know, how much do you think that's an advantage for you guys? Um, home crowd is always an advantage. Um, you know, make a couple baskets, get the crowd into it is always good. So um, that's definitely an advantage. Just feeding off our fans is um, something um, that we definitely want tonight. What makes your team dangerous in a play-in? Um, just the versatility. Um, IQ is on the floor. And uh, guys can shoot from long range, can defend the basketball, can get to the basket. Got good decision makers on the floor. So um, we got a, a team that can do a lot, a lot of things on the floor. And with all the injuries that's happened this season, even to yourself, and overcoming them, and then now knowing how much is on the line with each game, what did you realize, like, I have to be accountable for every time I step on the court? Um, I mean, my job is different from everybody, so um, first I have to be accountable for myself and making sure that I'm staying in front of my man and knowing everything that he does and also bringing my game, but also letting everybody know on the floor and having um, constant communication where people can call me out and I can call other guys out to, to tell them um, some stuff that I think they can do better on the floor. Um, I think that's the first, the first part is me, and then I can hold somebody else accountable. Yeah, when you guys went through that slide later in the season, what did you guys do as far as to recalibrate and get yourself, you guys back on track? Uh, Willie continued to preach his positive message. Um, of how we played so well early in the season and uh, what we've been through and actually looking at the reality of it. And then um, just trying not to make any excuses. Um, coming in every game, just playing hard, following the game plan and um, hoping, hoping it works out at the end of the game. And um, that's what was happening at the All-Star break.